Hey everybody, uh, we're here again for uh, Crypto Investigators looking at LTX. So let's get into it. So LTX is the lattice token. Again, this was one of the community voted coins in our Discord. Um, so we're looking at this one in this video today. Right now, the lattice token is around 96 cents. Um, lattice token has a circulating supply just under 29 million coins. There's a max or total supply of 100 million coins. So right now the circulating supply is only about 9 million or so more than Bitcoin's current circulating supply. And let's take a look at our price chart here as well. So we can see the LTX all time high was around $2.70 um, and it's come down with the rest of the market at the time of this recording. And um, the current altcoin market has been moving back upwards lately. And we can see that again in the Lattice token here as well. So let's talk about Lattice token. So if we go over here, we can see we're on the Constellation Network. So in our last video, we talked about Constellation Network and we talked about DAG. And LTX is a coin through the Constellation Network as well. So Lattice Exchange. Lattice Exchange is a decentralized finance or DeFi platform that connects all blockchain main chains and allows users to transfer cryptocurrency between multiple ecosystems. So the Lattice Exchange here, we can see, again, um, it's connecting all of these blockchains and main chains and it allows users to transfer cryptocurrencies between multiple ecosystems. And what they do is they leverage their hypergraph technology. So again, we talked about that being HGTP. So if you see that acronym, that's hypergraph technology. Um, and it's Constellation's fee-less network. And the platform, it reduces risk, reduces cost, and reduces friction for traders, giving them control over their digital assets while increasing transparency, as well as being the bridge between all blockchain ecosystems. Lattice is a cross-chain asset swapping platform with DeFi incentives and rewards. So again, in the last video, um, because it connects back to DAG, we talked about Layer Zero technology, how L0 um, is the acronym for that. And what it does is this Lattice Exchange, it allows atomic cross-chain swaps at this Layer Zero. And that basically allows you to cha change your coin from any different chain um, for basically almost free. There are some exchange costs, but there's no cost on top of that as well for the Lattice Exchange. It does it quick, it does it seamlessly, it makes a smooth user experience. Lattice Exchange is pretty cool for doing that. So the application overview here. The Lattice is an evolution of existing DeFi solutions that offer near zero swap fees while enabling these cross-chain so multi-asset and ecosystem support with institutional grade trading tools. So when you think about a DeFi cross-chain swap, um, it's a pretty powerful concept here. And maybe people are familiar with big DEXs, the centralized exchanges like Uniswap, SushiSwap, Trader Joe, and Lattice Exchange, LTX is all about um, doing what they do, but seamlessly and way better and way cheaper. So. Through this integration of various partners and services, Lattice is a one-stop shop for all activities related to crypto finance. Holders of the LTX, the Lattice Exchange token, can participate in the platform in the following ways. So it's pretty cool. If you hold this Lattice token, they have all these different things, which we'll get into a little bit more when we take a look at um, the, the platform for that. But you can actually participate in all of these just by holding LTX. So we have a decentralized governance platform within LTX Lattice Exchange, and it allows the LTX holders to determine the future development of the platform and build more value into it. They have yield form farming. You can take the LTX token, stake it, provide liquidity, earn rewards and incentives. They have a launch pad, which is really cool. So LTX token holders have priority access to support and stake 
a new promising crypto projects. They have a lending aspect, which allows the LTX holders to collateralize their crypto assets for a USDT or a USDC loan or to lend out fiat stablecoins to receive interest. Now, this is, I think, their main um, use case, main part of the Lattice Exchange that's going to make it flourish. That's the cross-chain swapping again. So LTX holders of multiple digital assets will be able to swap beyond the Ethereum ecosystem. So pretty cool stuff here um, with what you can do by holding LTX. So now we're into the Lattice Exchange um, main web page. So we were just on the Constellation site, now we're on Lattice.exchange. And again, it's the crossroad of decentralized finance and trading. So it is an AMM-based DEX. Again, DEX stands for Decentralized Exchange, if you're not familiar with that. And it supports these cross-chain swaps and a multitude of DeFi decentralized finance applications by utilizing Constellation's famous hypergraph technology, a near zero fee, and horizontally scalable decentralized network powered by Constellation. So there you go. So about Lattice Exchange. Lattice Exchange, it's an evolution of these existing DeFi solutions that offers these near zero swap fees while enabling cross chain. So it's multi different assets support with institutional grade trading tools. The platform itself is a gateway to unlocking digital asset services by combining the features of traditional equities and modern cryptocurrencies with speed, security, and cost savings at the forefront. So everybody who's a user loves those things. We want things to happen quick. We have our speed. We want them to be secure and we want them to be cheap and cost saving. We don't want to waste our money. Um, we want things to be cheap and easy to use so we get the most of it all. So through the integration of various partners and services, Lattice is a one-stop shop for all activities related to DeFi. And we talked a little bit about the holders of LTX and things that they can participate in. So Lattice features, again, these were the things in a visual that if you're holding Lattice, um, LTX, or if you're just participating on the exchange, you get access to all these different things and they're done through fee sharing, which is pretty cool. Now the roadmap currently, um, in 2022 specifically, they have talked about deploying the test net and then moving into cross-chain swaps, which essentially means Lattice Exchange will be going live and you will be able to do those atomic cross-chain swaps at the layer zero level. And um, you'll be able to change one coin to another for super cheap. And it doesn't have to be the same chain, which is pretty sweet. All right, so next up we have the Lattice Exchange white paper and um, it's a decent white paper to look through. There's just one thing I wanna highlight and talk about in the white paper. So in the first phase, here, Lattice will be developed on the Ethereum blockchain for transaction settlement and liquidity from throughout the DeFi ecosystem will be aggregated and order matching will be improved. Lattice will aggregate the liquidity from various existing DEXs to create better pricing and less slippage for traders. Additionally, users can supply liquidity to the exchange pools on the platform to earn trading fees. And a cross-chain bridge will connect the ERC-20 ecosystem with the Hypergraph ecosystem, allowing for that fluid interaction. So that's just basically, again, a summary of what everything um, LTX has to offer uh, with, with its utility and its use case. So now let's actually get into the Lattice Exchange dashboard. So on this page here, this is kind of the main dashboard for all the things that you can do through Lattice Exchange. We can see here on the left, we're gonna go through each of these. We have staking, door traffic miner, governance, launchpad, lending. We're gonna look through each of those. But on our main dashboard here, you can kind of just click through them. Um, and then on the bottom, we have coming soon. So coming soon, we have our cross-chain trades, which are coming soon, our learn and earn, which is coming soon. Then we have next up is our on and off chain data. And finally, 
we have our buy LTX with a credit card. That'll be convenient. So those four things are coming soon to Lattice Exchange. But let's take a look at what they have to offer now and let's take a look at staking. So staking programs. So right now there's a staking program live where you can stake Alchemy. Now the staking um, lockup period is currently three months at an APY of a minimum of 10%. And the covered pool um, cap pool right now is 30 million um, ADS. Then in the past, you can see here, we had a Qcoin staking program and a Uniswap liquidity program. So if you're interested in staking things, this is the place to go here. And then we have our soft node staking. So we kind of talked a little bit about that in our DAG video. So soft node staking, um, a DAG node is 250,000 DAG again. And we can see here through our current staking period, which is just opened up actually yesterday, April 1st to May 1st. Um, we have people currently enrolling in it. So it looks like there's about half um, enrollment at this time where we have a total of 4,045 soft nodes, which is 1 billion DAG currently staked, which is 40% of the supply basically, which is pretty incredible. Uh, so once that's capped out, um, it appears that each uh, staking period has more supply, uh, more percentage of the supply staked. If we look back at the history there, so you can stake through um, the Lattice Exchange, stake your DAG, Next up is the door traffic miner, which we did cover again in our DAG video, which is a pretty cool device here. So I just wanted to talk about how to participate in that door traffic miner project. So you first must purchase one of the DTMs, which is again, the door traffic miner, and you get an email um, from the Constellation Network to finalize that payment. And once that payment is received, you should get a door traffic miner NFT to be associated with your wallet address. You'll log into your Lattice Exchange account and you'll connect your wallet with the DTM NFT. Click and add that DTM so it's all connected. And once your nodes are registered, you should see your DTM NFT in the My DTMs tab on your Lattice Exchange. So you can follow that as well. All right, so we have our governance. Now the Lattice governance structure, let's talk about that real quick. So again, Lattice, it's, it's a DAO. A decentralized autonomous organization. So the governance structure here says that they're gonna be using snapshot.org, which is a well-tested and used by most DeFi applications as our governance tool. It provides us a fee list, which is great of course, and simple way to create proposals and vote. So LTX holders just need to have their LTX in their Web3 wallet an example of that would be MetaMask um, and connect with our governance page to create proposals to vote. In phase one, they have five admin accounts from a team who can create proposals to fight possible spam, which is always great. And in the future, we can open up creating proposals to everyone or let LTX token holders decide who the admins will be. Votes are based on the amount of LTX in the address, which is voting. So obviously the more LTX you hold, the more voting power you receive. And they're also providing a web forum and telegram group where community members can discuss ideas and proposals, which then can be forwarded to admins for that voting process. All right, so let's take a look next at the launch pad um, part of the Lattice Exchange. Currently a live project here, um, token events, and what that is, token events, closes the gaps in the relationships between artists, musicians, and event managers, removing inconsistencies in the process currently created by middlemen, ticket scalpers, third-party vendors, and more. So they have this launch pad going on here. There's uh, quite a bit of LTX staked already, about 2 million, and they're trying to raise 300K USDT for that launch pad. And we had a few other launch pads that are complete already, which the first one we see here again is the door, the door traffic miner that we just spoke about. They have GeoJam, Double Dice, and the Alchemy, which we talked about earlier, that you can stake for a minimum 10% APY. The last thing here is the lending platform, um, which you'll have to log in and wait for that to get set up. 
So we're not going to get into that today. So again, to summarize here, LTX, Atomic Cross-Chain Swap, DEX, Layer 0 Level, Beless, Cheap, Fast, Scalable, and it interconnects different blockchains and allows you to do that. So today we're going to be comparing LTX with just Uniswap because Uniswap is a very popular DEX, has incredible volumes, but Uniswap has a lot of fees that aren't available for LTX, which means LTX eliminates those fees that Uniswap has. So my prediction is LTX will take a bit of a market share away from Uniswap because people don't like paying for fees. And if you can save your money and go somewhere else where it's fee-less or near fee-less and save a good portion of your transaction fees and whatnot, I think the users are going to navigate there as well. So if LTX was at the market cap of Uni, currently it would be about $164 a coin, which is 171x where it currently is. Um, now, Uniswap, again, is just one of the different DEXs that are out there. There's a lot of DEXs. There's things like I mentioned earlier, like SushiSwap, Trader Joe, et cetera, et cetera. And if it grabs market share from a bunch of these, well, who knows where the price could go for that. But I think, again, with it being very cheap and scalable and cross-chain, it has some pretty cool potential here. So again, that will conclude our LTX portion. Um, but before we do that, if you want to store your LTX, that's going to be on the Stargazer wallet. Um, same wallet they use to store DAG as well. So it'll securely hold and transact your tokens for that, which is pretty neat. So before we get out of here today, don't forget to like and subscribe to our video as usual. And again, that is our Lattice Exchange portion that was voted on by our community in Discord. And we'll catch you in another next one.